Hey everyone, this is Bridget Reyes and I'm back with another stylish tip for you this week and um, this week I'm going to be answering a question from a blog reader of mine who also happens to be a very good friend. Her name is Kathy Elster and uh, Kathy and her partner Catherine Crowley are uh, co-authors of three uh, books. They're best-selling authors. Um, you may be familiar with their books, but if you're not, you must check them out. Um, the first is uh, Working With You Is Killing Me. The second is Working With You Isn't Working For Me. And uh, the third is Mean Girls at Work. Uh, all really wonderful books on interpersonal relationships at work, um, which... Uh, you know, if if you have a job, you have to know that it can get really hairy at work, um, unless you're self-employed like me and you have two cats and they don't do anything all day. Um, so uh, Kathy and Catherine also have a podcast that they do called My Crazy Office, where they answer questions from uh, listeners about how to navigate different types of relationships and situations at work with people. And uh, I was on their podcast a few weeks ago. It's so good. So um, I'm just going to give them a little plug because I, I love them so much and I think they're so talented and, um, and, and give great information. And uh, Kathy and I have known each other for 11 years now. I met her when I first started my business, and we've we've re remained very friendly over the years. And um, not to tell on Kathy, but Kathy's in her early 50s, and she asked me a question about uh, aging gracefully. Uh, and I, I wanted to answer it via video because I'm sure that there are a lot of you out there with the same question. So this is what, uh, what Kathy asked me. She asked, uh, how do I adjust my wardrobe as I age? Since age is being redefined, Gloria Steinem is now 80 and looks great, I do know what is, uh, is, what is too young for me and I do know what is way too old. But I'm not sure where to shop anymore and what is right for me as I age gracefully? Um, such a great question. Um, I think that a lot of women, when they hit a certain age, they really do know who they are and they really do know what their style is and, and they feel comfortable in their own skin. And these are all wonderful uh, things to have as you age. I just turned 40 myself and I have to tell you, if you're, if you're scared about turning 40, it is the best kept secret on the planet. The anticipation of me turning 40 was way worse than actually turning 40. And um, there's something so wonderful about coming into your own. Um, and I think it starts at 40 um, and it just keeps getting better and better. So uh, Kathy's a little bit ahead of me and I'm sure she's loving who she is and I'm sure she's very comfortable with herself and she knows what her style is, but she's still struggling with, well, how do I do it? What is right? What is wrong? Where do I find it? Um, so I want to, I want to point out a, a, a few, uh, things that will be helpful for Kathy as well as all of you watching, uh, hopefully as you embrace and, uh, embark on, uh, aging gracefully. Um, the first thing is that I always tell women that, um, who are of a certain age that dressing young and dressing youthful are two completely different things. I get a lot of women who call me to hire me and they all say the same thing, which is I'm not interested in being trendy. I, I really don't care, but I want to look modern. I want to look that I know, like I know what's going on. I want to look the best I can look. Um, I want to look like I'm confident for my age, so on and so forth. And I always say that to them, you know, I've learned that dressing young and dressing youthful are two completely different things. When a woman dresses too young for her age, I think she actually looks older or that she's desperately trying to cling on to her earlier years. She hasn't fully embraced uh, where she's at in her life. And it's a real shame, really, if you think about it. Um, and, and because of this, she tends to look young. Like she tends, I'm sorry, she tends to look older. Like she's just not accepting and she's just desperate. And it's sad. Um, when a woman dresses youthful, however, there's a confidence and there's a comfort with herself and she's honoring herself. And you, when you dress in a youthful manner, no matter what your age, um, it's, it really comes across like I'm comfortable in my own skin and I'm doing the best that I can do for my age right now. So when I think of someone who dresses too young, the first image that always comes to mind for me is like a 65 year old woman in like a leather mini skirt at a, at a dive bar. I don't know. And, and you just think like, oh, that's so sad, right? So that's dressing young and dressing youthful is, uh, is a much uh, better approach. So the first thing that I want to point out is that 
is that if you want to age gracefully, look at it as youthful, not young. And don't hang on to th stuff that you are wearing 30 years ago thinking that you're still going to look like you did 30 years ago. You're not. Um, the next thing that I uh, want to talk about is incorporating trends because... Again, when you hit a certain age, it's not about being ultra trendy anymore. It's about balance and it's about um, looking like you know what's going on, looking like you're fresh and modern and together, but uh, not that you're some kind of fashion victim. I think we all get to a point um, where it's like, I don't even care. I just want to look good. Um, and I think also what happens with age is that women have invested over the years. So when you're young and you don't have a lot of money, clothing's a lot more fleeting, but as you age, you have really wonderful things in your closet and you don't want to let them go and they're timeless and you're going to have them forever. But as time goes on, you want them to still be fresh. And I think that the best way for a woman to embrace her age is to take those investment pieces and accessorize in or add accessories that are a little bit more updated or a little bit more trendy um, because what that can do is freshen what you've invested in and things that you really shouldn't get rid of yet but you want to bring into the current season. So my advice for Kathy and, and anyone else out there who is looking to update their wardrobe but who has who have a closet have closets full of clothing that they just there's no point in getting rid of I'd say focus on your accessories being a little bit more updated and, and accessorized to begin with because if you're not accessorizing you're missing out um, and um, and and to uh, to see that as the way that you can embrace trend and um, get a lot more mileage from uh, what you already own um, my third tip is fit okay so I don't care how well, you keep yourself as you age. If you exercise five days a week, I think our bodies change. So even if you're the same weight you were 20 years ago, there's a shift in your body. And you may have been able to wear junior clothing at one time. And even if you're somewhat close to that same weight, bless your heart, um, you're not going to wear it the same way. So I think what happens over time is you have to start looking for cuts or designers who cut more of a missy cut. And a missy cut... Um, it's just usually they use fit models that are a little bit rounder, a little bit fuller. They're usually older women. They're usually women who are around uh, your own age. So they're usually in their 40s and beyond. So they have a body that matches to yours more closely than if you shopped at younger, trendier labels who usually use fit models who are thinner, who are younger, um, and don't have um, the body shape that have sort of filled out a little bit more um, naturally with age. Um, knowing Kathy personally and knowing what her style is and knowing what her lifestyle is, uh, I have in mind where I would take her. Um, generally speaking, what I would say is that what I always do with clients is I look at several things always. And I look at a client's lifestyle, a per their personal style, their physical characteristics, and their goals, and then their budget. So these are the things that you want to look at before you go shopping um, and you want to be clear on them. So for example, if a stay-at-home mom came to me and she was a, the same age as Kathy, who's a very professional woman, I would, uh, I would not take her to the same stores. Um, all these factors need to be considered. So it's very difficult to answer this in a general sense. But I do want to share some labels with you as well as Kathy that could be considered that I have found that cuts a little bit more in a generous manner. Um, I, for work, I would probably be bringing Kathy to labels like Lafayette 148. I'd probably bring her to Boss, Hugo Boss. Um, I would probably look at Tahari, some things, because Tahari fits a lot of bodies really well. Um, and they also touch on trend without going overboard. So it's this, it's this nice balance. And depending on how you accessorize Tahari, um, you can make it look either really young and trendy or really classic and modern. So that's what I do like about them. If Kathy was looking to invest, like heavily invest in some professional clothing, I'd probably bring her to a label like Max Mara or a label like Acris Plinto. Um, but these are definitely on the higher end side. What I also love 
um, are uh, labels like Vince Camuto. I think that what I love about Vince Camuto, and I feel like he's really filled this gap that I was noticing for many years, which was my clients over 45 who had... Uh, you know, a decent amount of money, but not a ton to spend, maybe had a little bit of an easier lifestyle or a more casual lifestyle. Um, I was having a hard time finding product in this sort of range that was at least updated modern enough. And then Vince Camuto came along and it was like fantastic because I love the way he cuts, but that he still keeps it modern and fresh and up to date without going overboard. So I'd probably look at Vince Camuto for Kathy um, for some pieces that would add some punch to her more investment pieces that would just add a little bit more of flair. I'd probably look at that for, uh, for casual too. Um, another label, I don't know if it'd be perfect for Kathy. I think some things would, but just in general, I find that Michael, Michael Kors, um, I love Michael Kors. I, I worshiped him in college when I went to FIT, but, um, Michael Kors, I think does a beautiful line. Um, and Michael, Michael Kors is definitely an accessible line, uh, price point wise. It gives you the aesthetic of Michael Kors without the price tag. And I think that he also cuts for a bit of a more missy figure. So again, you're getting the aesthetic of a look that's Michael Kors, um, for an age range that, you know, from 40 up is perfect in a fit that is, uh, I think definitely a little bit more generous. So I would definitely look at Michael, Michael Kors. Um, and that would probably be the places that I'd look most, uh, for her. Um, I think that other labels out there, not that I would take her to, but other labels, I think Talbot's and I was a designer for Talbot's many years ago in my past life. And the thing I love about Talbot's is that they do a, um, a very, they, they address the trends again without going overboard. Their fit is definitely more on a missy figure. And what I also like is they have extraordinarily high uh, quality control. Their quality control is insane. Like I said, I was a designer there. It was crazy good. So the clothes will never fall apart, ever. Um, and uh, another label that I love for a more casual look, or two labels actually, would be a Chico's, if that's your look, uh, a J. Jill. I love them too for, again, that more relaxed, for a woman who's maybe a little bit older, who wants a more casual lifestyle, has a more casual lifestyle, wants a more casual look, I'd probably look at something like a J. Jill or a Chico's. So not all these labels may be your thing, but to kind of give like a, 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 a an full overview, I think these are some of the labels that I'd look at. Um, but I hope these tips in general just help you think about how to embrace your age. I think um, we as women, we owe it to ourselves as well as other women out there to really embrace who we are, embrace our ages, and do it the best way possible. So hopefully these tips have helped you. Um, I'll be back next week with another stylish tip. Uh, thanks to Kathy for that question that I, uh, I think everyone will uh, benefit from. And if you want to ask me a question, you can visit my website, BridgetRays.com. You can follow me on uh, Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Bridget Ray's Style Expert. I'm also on all other social media channels, including Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and now Keep.com uh, at Bridget Ray's. So you can find me there. I'm everywhere. Uh, I uh, wish you a great week, and I'll talk to you next week.